Hello everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. I'm super excited because I have the chief engineer of a Land Cruiser right here, Keita Moritsu-san, or we're just going to call him Keita. And then I'm going to uh, be speaking Japanese back and forth and try to translate for you guys because I really want to know some of the nitty-gritty details about Land Cruiser, which all of you guys love so much. So I'm going to just introduce myself quickly. Okay. My name is Keita Moritz, so Land Cruiser Chief Engineer uh, of Toyota Motor Corporation. Thank you very much. Hi. So first of all, um, they, they want to differentiate the uh, sort of allocation of Land Cruiser models. As many of you guys know, the 150 series is now the 250 series. That's the one that we have right now. It used to be called Land Cruiser Prado uh, in terms of the names, but it's now just called Land Cruiser. And then we have the 300 series, which came from 200 series, and that is the current model that's sold in everywhere but North America, and our version is the Lexus LX. It's a bit confusing because, as you know, I also own a 2023 Lexus GX, which was sold as Land Cruiser Prado in Japan. So those some of these are very confusing, but they want to distinguish some of those models to say that the 250 series, which is this one, is kind of labeled as a light off-duty use, and the 300 series is considered station wagon series, and the 70 series is a true off-roading series. Those are some of the distinctions that he talked about. All right, so this is a bit of a long story here, but uh, as many of you guys know, the Land Cruiser 70 series is a true workhorse. That's the one designed to do all kinds of tough off-roading, capable of supporting many, many difficult tasks. On the other hand, the Land Cruiser 300 series, which is our Lexus LX version, is kind of moved upscale, became a premium 4x4, very popular in Middle East and other parts of the world. But they also feel that it moved too much upscale and moved away from the original meaning and the positioning of what Land Cruiser used to stand for, which is support your work, support your family, and to provide type of capability that we all wanted without necessarily moving through the upscale. So they feel like there's a gap now between the Land Cruiser 300 series and the 70 series. So they want to reposition a new Land Cruiser in the mid-level between the two and to go back to the original intent of the Land Cruiser, which means it's 4x4 for everyone and not necessarily deliver a premium luxury vehicle. And that's why they didn't want to call it Land Cruiser Prado because it is actually not a Prado, it's an all new model designed to fit between those two models and it still has the Land Cruiser name. So the positioning of the new Land Cruiser right here as a 250 series is basically a reminder that this is the real Land Cruiser still but position between the two models to give you a whole different flavor from what the Prado used to stand for. And therefore he's emphasizing that it is not a replacement for the Prado model. So one of the questions I had is how similar the 250 series is to the 300 series? Because I always said in many of my videos the frames are literally identical and he did confirm in fact that the frames and the platform between the 300 series and 250 series are almost identical. Maybe not exactly the same, but he says pretty, pretty similar, and almost the same. And that indicates the capability of the 250 series because he shares so much of the components and platform with the 300 series. And yet, he, what they want to do is to provide a different market for the 250 series because the 300 series once again have moved too much upscale and it might be going after different kinds of customers. Yet this one is supposed to cater to many, many different uses where people can use it for everyday use as well as for work or business or other things. And that's why they wanted to make sure that this was positioned in the middle section. And he said there are some key differences, for example, compared to before the Land Cruiser 250 series, you can see the wheels are actually bulging out quite a bit. The mirrors are, have been pushed in to provide a very reasonable width and very uh, drivable size, but it has a capability of uh, what Land Cruiser stand for. So I found it interesting that this is a confirmation that 250 series is indeed as capable as 300 series, but going after a different market because of pricing, because of features, and also the level of luxury that you might get on the 300 versus 250. Uh, but yet, as I suspected all along, this thing is truly, truly capable. Another question I ask is about the powertrain. For us in North America, 
the Land Cruiser was a V8 engine car and obviously it's turbocharged for cylinder engine and that differentiation seems way too much. But he said that it's very important to note that the capability of the 2.4 turbo is there, that there was no need to provide excessive performance because we wanted uh, the Land Cruiser to be more reachable by more mainstream customers and therefore you have to take into account the pricing and the value and so forth which is why they lowered the price and he said more, there's more than enough power and, and torque for the 2.4 turbo it's just as durable as any of the other engines from Toyota and it provides much of the capabilities. Uh, so this uh, technology uh, name is Neo Stair, New Era Operating Steering. So uh, that concept is uh, the the uh, all uh, function like a brake, axle, the combined to uh, the steering. Uh, that means so we can realize the pedal rest. Mm. So, so the one uh, so far 100 year so vehicle uh, drive by seating position and uh, on the pedal, but if we can realize this steering, so. Uh, for example, standing driving is okay. It's possible. So the vehicle um, value uh, should be extended the based on the, this study. Chair skiers, Mori, uh, uh, the Paralympia, hi. Mori-san, hi, hi, hi. Uh, the conversation is a starting of de this uh, development. So the main thing is obviously this is uh, designed to allow people who do not have the use of their legs to be able to still drive properly. Um, and he said that one of the Paralympic um, uh, athletes, he uh, came up with the idea that maybe they can come up with something that do not require use of pedals. And so that's why they came up with the Neo Steer, which stands for New Era Steering. So that's something interesting on this particular concept car. So those are some of the things that uh, he mentioned. And so I'm really excited to continue talking about Land Cruiser. But for now, I'm going to let the chief engineer go. But it's an honor to speak to him. どうもお疲れ様でした。はい、はい、ありがとうございます。嬉しかったです。どうも頑張ってください。